Hey everyone, so I'm going ahead and recording my sixth calisthenics rings workout. Uh, anyways, this is me doing a little bit of the wacky stuff. I'm practicing back bridges, and then now I'm doing, I guess you would call this assisted uneven chin-ups. Um, I'm either training towards an archer or towards an uneven. I don't really particularly care which one I do. I'm just trying to get a unilateral training stimulus. And then those are some L-sit front lever rows. I'm just flying through these today. Okay, and now I'm moving on to a pike roll chin. These are feeling really good. Uh, I actually don't mind the ceiling as much as I thought I would. I just have to tuck my feet for a second. But it feels essentially the same because that's not really the point where my feet being out in front of me is a big factor in terms of the actual difficulty. But yeah, in terms of strength, I was just feeling incredibly strong today. Like everything was pretty effortless. My elbow joints felt good. I think I'm really getting the increases in arm flexor strength. This is sort of my attempt at learning the rings ice cream maker. Uh, it felt pretty good. I'm just learning a lot about also controlling momentum. Then here is probably still my Achilles heel, which is the uh, neutral grip rings chin ups. I find that that position is still super hard for me. I just have to like make my rhomboids work like crazy. And now I'm learning the, I think it's called the chin to skin. Basically it's a, you know, a roll chin and then you go into the skin the cat position, which I do not quite have the mobility for, but I am strong enough that I find I can get into that position safely. And then my mobility kind of just stops me at a position where I'm not like too far stretched where I'm worried about, you know, straining anything. Just some row sit backs. These always feel good. I like to add the rotational element here just to get uh, a nice stimulus on the on the arms. Those always feel excellent. They're just a nice warm up. And then these are uneven chins because I don't really have the space to do archer. If given the option, I do like to do the archer uh, ring pull ups instead. Um, I guess do I do archer? Maybe I usually just do a one arm. Rows. I'm not sure. Uh, sometimes I forget what I do. It's it's funny. I do almost the same workout every week, and yet I have to remind myself of what I'm doing. Those are some face pulls. Those felt okay. Some things are just a little awkward at the door frame. You just have to make accommodations for those sort of things. Uh, let me see. Tuck to tuck. Working towards the, I believe it's a shoulder stand. And then I tried the L-sit variation. It actually felt pretty good. I think I'll just move on to the l variation, which is a pleasant surprise. Uh, it doesn't really feel that much harder. Maybe on a day where I'm not as refreshed, but yeah, l to dips. Here we go. I've been working a ton on my core strength and stability, just like really building the isometric strength in the core. And I think that has had a huge uh, transferability where I just feel that the stronger my core gets, the more easily I can coordinate all the parts of my body. Uh, I feel just connected from head to toe. And I don't know why I'm making weird faces every time I do this. Again, this is basically me trying to do an archer, but I can't have space for that. Uh, rings turn out push-ups. These actually felt pretty good, which is the first time they felt somewhat normal. And then I'm trying to do rings dive bomber push-ups, which... I, I was able to maintain tension, so it doesn't look like it's that hard, but it's just low enough that I can get away with that and actually getting a training stimulus. And then tricep extensions, once again, I was still leaning into it, so I still felt like I was getting some stimulus, although I'm not too worried about it being a heavy load. And then bench dips are just always a good finisher. I think dip variations are probably the some of the most efficient calisthenics movements you could do for tricep training. Here I'm just working into the very rudimentary basics of the ring muscle up. I am obviously nowhere close to that. I really don't even have a solid falls grip yet, but I just wanted to get a bit of a feel for what I'd be working with in the future. And then here I'm kind of working into, I'm not strong enough or stable enough in this position to do a tuck back lever yet but I kind of popped off just for a second. And I'll, let me tell you, my spinal erectors are very sore just from that little pop off. So that's definitely something to work towards.